Hi everyone, it's Eddie here. Welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie Makes Art. And today I am finally ready to debut the project I've been working on all month. And this project is for the uh, PM Artist Studio Makers Creative Collab 2024, which is Over the Rainbow. So if you search those hash hashtags, you can find other artists that have participated in the uh, prompts and um, check out their stuff too. And um, I'm also combining it with the Maker's Collage Prompt 2024, which includes uh, daffodils, rainbows, arch, Polaroids, tea, and gold. So um, what I did is I created a tag book for myself. And the reason I did that is because I've gotten a lot of really wonderful pieces of artwork um, in the form of tags and ATCs and a couple of other bits and uh, some painty papers from um, other artists in the makers group that I belong to over on Facebook. And so I thought I'd put it all together into one book and it just became this really, really huge project. But I love how it turned out. There's still a little bit more to work on, but that um, that is okay. These are always works in... Um, progress i think um so what i did is i took a, a manila folder cut it up cut it down to size a little bit and then um collage gel prints um all over the front to make the cover we've got um, some fabric stitched all around this is some dyed fabric that somebody sent me and then thanks to my friend paula keen um, I sewed in these um, strips of ribbon and fabric, whatever, to create the closure. Now, this is a fat book. It's, it's being held tightly by these really, um, by these closures, these ribbons. So let's open it up and take a quick peek. I don't want to make this video too long, um, but I want to show you as much as I can. And yeah, it's a little cumbersome to get all these undone, but when it pops open, you'll realize that it really needed all of these straps to hold it in, but it's so beautiful, right? Okay, so it's one signature and I've got it in here with the elastic band. Um, and like I said, everything is not completely finished, but I, I got most of it done. Um, this huge tag here, this was a print sent to me. Uh, I wanna say it was Lori Paul, and then I added my gel print on the back and just made it tagged. Put some ribbon on there. On the inside, I took strips of, or actually I just took book pages and I got them um, grunged up. I used a little stencil with ink. I used some uh, stamps with ink. I used some paints, splatters, um, and white gesso. Roughed them up. I even used some sprays on here too, some dye sprays. So that's the inside of the cover. And then um, I took a, a page from Patricia Carmichael's um, book and used a sack, a netted sack from um, some tangerines we got. And um, I glued that down to some carnival tissue and and then I gel printed over it and made some cool colors. And then if you notice here, this is the inside that I folded over. So the opposite side that I folded over to give it a sort of a lip, but you can see how the back side looks. Very cool. And I did the same on the back cover. A couple of tags here. These two tags I made, my gel prints. This one has been in the works for a while. It's on some thick paper. Um, and this is a one of the first things I did when I started using modeling paste was this butterfly through a stencil. And I found it in a bunch of stuff and I decided to glue it down on here. And it just, it was weird. It didn't glue right and it looked just bad. So I actually worked on this for a while with different, uh, with paint and, 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 and stuff like that pencils. Um, these are gel prints that I cut out over some scrapbook paper. And I think I'm going to go back into this and do some other stuff here, but it's good for now. And so you see here, there's more of the 
that netting pocket. This is another one of my pockets I created. These are some ATCs that I've received in there. And so in typical junk journal style, I just picked out different pages and made some papers um, and all that good stuff. So we've got this lovely card that I got here. This is a magazine page. And I used um, some textured paper that I painted on the gel plate and I put a, I used a stencil with sprays and then I cut them up and I used it um, as pockets. And then this is another, um, this is a brayer off this gold. It's on a glued on a page from a National Geographic that I'm using. And then you notice here, these edges, this is uh, more of those book pages that I lined the inside of the cover with. And this has um, some more of that white gesso that I put through a stencil. Um, and it's really cool if you notice there's a face here, a lady's face. Now these particular pages were from an old cosmetology book that I'd found. And um, so I used some of those pages and you can see her face there. This was a brayer off this gold here. And then um, I believe Becky sent me, somebody sent me this print, I believe it was Becky. And um, I cut out the circle and then used the, you know, the, the negative and the positive together to create a really cool, you know, little, little design there. And then these are from Colleen McCammon with one of my hidden paper clips there. And this is just coffee dye paper I made and I used a, uh, I laid a strip of um, gel print here. That's the same one that is on the back of there. So you've got a little, you know, of the samey. And then the inside, I used one of my stencils and I put um, the design down with the ink through the stencil. And here's uh, Polaroid. That's part of the, um, that's one of the prompts. And then this is the rainbow part of the prompts. You'll see more rainbow in here. I mean, the whole book is a rainbow of colors. So there you go. Um, and here we are, made a little uh, pocket here with another print I received. This is a gel print I made. It's another gel print I made. One of the tags I made with some embossing. This is on watercolor paper. It was, um, I was testing out mic mica powders. And then um, I just added some uh, of the brass paint and a couple of strips of another um, gel print that had the same color paint of the gold and then did some embossing. So that's fun. Here's some butterflies I gel printed on some tissue. And my friend Maya sent me these maps. These are um, actual pilot maps that they, you know, the actual pilots use when they're um, flying around. And these are from the West Coast. So you see like San Jose, California, Fremont. Um, you know, so that's really cool. So I thought I'd incorporate that in there. Um, and this one is also from Colleen. This actually goes in here. So if it, yeah. So that goes in there. And this is another piece of textured paper that I um, uh, sprayed and dyed and added um, some gold or brass um, splatter. Here's a big old envelope from one of my uh, mail-in ballots. And um, I just added a nice lady here with some um, tissue uh, gel prints and some other stuff that I already, this is actually a sticker, I printed this on stickers, glued that down. And all the coloring here is just a colored pencil I used. So there's a pocket in here. My friend Becky sent me these, these are great. I'll have to use those on something. And then here, uh, Sharon or Texture Junkie sent me this decorated pocket and then I, in the pocket, I put this tag that I got from my friend Miriam or Art Curious. And um, this was for my birthday. Thought it was great. Look, rainbow there. And then here's another tag I made using embossing and some gel prints and some fun um, fabric. Um, and these are these are brayer offs that I um, did on to book page. Um, and I, I thought the color worked really well. So put some of that in there. This I got from Lori Paul. This was a swap we did. 
and I don't know if this the camera will pick this up, but can you see? Isn't that great? She made that. And look. So I thought that was really, really wonderful. So I put that in here. Now this is a piece of, I got some sheets of scrapbook paper that were black and white and gray from my friend Maya. And what I did with them is I sprayed them, painted them. I used uh, some of that, um, the powders that, that uh, the pigment powders and created this uh, really cool um, page. And then I went over it with gloss medium, the gel acrylic medium. That's why it's nice and shiny and strong. And then this is gel printing I did on the back. Here's another gel print I created using, um, actually this gel print was used, uh, was made using these texture plates that I made or impression plates that I made uh, recently in a video. Um, and then here's a tag that I made. This string here, this is a nod to Mariah over at PM Artist Studio. She loves doing that um, string things. A little string running up the middle there. And these are all my gel prints. I believe, yeah. Um, and this is nice and this is thick. These are actually um, pieces of embossed paper that I painted and then punched out. So let's move along here. More gel printing, some tags. And then this is uh, a card I got from Devin uh, Rex for art or Yolande, as uh, she's known. And then, um, I, forgot, I don't know who, but somebody sent me this beautiful rainbowy colored page. It's all sparkly. I had to get that in there. Some ATCs from Becky. And these are, um, this is a uh, uh, pockets that she made using a coffee filter that she gel printed on. And she actually used some of my, uh, one of my stamps on here too. That's kernels. And then over here, I did some, uh, put down a gel print and some embossing and then a little tea bag or the, the pouch of the tea bag. And then I made this teeny, teeny, tiny tag. And I put a little sticker on there. There is um, just a strip of gold paper. But the reason um, that's there, you'll see in a minute, is this quote that I put down. It says, money is the anthem of success. So put on your mascara and your party dress. That's Lana Del Rey. So I thought that worked really, really well. Becky sent me this. There's a tag I made. This was uh, some rainbow uh, mica powder watercolor work that I was doing. And then um, somebody sent me this embossed eye. This is a stamp using um, the eye stamp from PM Artist Studio. Um, so I it was on tissue and I glued that down on there. And then with one of my gel prints on the back. And then I found this quote, it's anonymous, but it says, when I was young, I felt really overwhelmed and confused by the desire not to end up in an office doing something I didn't believe in. Yeah, that checks. That checks for sure. Some more tags. These, uh, this is a paper, scrapbook paper I embellished and um, it was black and white and I used colored pencil on it and then added some circles of gel printing. And I believe this particular gel print was um, a gift from PM Artist Studio. When you make an order, you they send you a little packet of some um, prints that have been made by um, Patricia on um, their live streams. Then another quote there. This is a journal card I made a long time ago. And it was just kind of plain. And then I embellished it with some um, paints and um, some pencil work. And then these are circles from a gel print. And then this is one of my uh, gel prints on tissue. So that's great. Some embossing there. This is, this is from Sandy Franklin. And then some feathers. This is a combination of feathers from Becky and Maya. They sent me those, those were awesome. And I just thought it was just fun to put in this little pocket and you can take it out and feel it or just, you know, look at it. Oh, this is, uh, da, 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 da. Laurie, this is from Laurie, yep. She put a note on the back and this is all done by her. And this is one of my hidden paper clips. 
it's vibrant. I think I just ripped something. Oh, well. What you're going to do? Huh? Another quote. This is from my friend Rhonda. She sent me this with my new hat that she knitted for me. Isn't that a gorgeous tag? And, like, look. The detail on there is so cool. And it's all embossed. And she was very clever. This is embossed using my stamp and then one of my stencils. Isn't she fabulous? Look at that. How cool is that little, the ink and um, the, the feather and the, and the ink. And then she made this pocket that it came in. So I glued that down and I put a little note she sent me in there. And then these are a couple tags I made. This is a pocket Becky sent me. No, actually, it's it was a um, the plastic from an envelope, right? But she gel printed on it with one of her stencils. If you can see that, there's zigzag. And then I took some of Patricia's um, gel prints that she sent me, and glued it around there for the border, just to hide the envelope stuff. And then this is a watercolor I did. The, the flowers are um, that the stem is watercolor that I did and then um, I added the stamp, the B, and then some strips of gel print and then just kind of went over it with some um, inks and stuff to just grunge it up a little bit. And then these are strips of gel print. I was quiet, but I was not blind because I was paying attention and soaking it all in. This is another cool one. I did some stencil butter on this one. And um, on the back is another gel print I did. And then on the top, this was actually a big pumpkin that I uh, did and with a stencil. And then I just cut out a strip. Okay, now. So this is um, the other half of that book page that I painted. And I decided to fold this little corner up, make a little pocket in there. And then on the back, there's another pocket I decorated with some more book page. And these are fun. These are from a gel print that I um, put uh, on tissue that I glued down on some cardstock. And then, let's see that. This one, uh, it's a long story behind that one. But anyway, so the back is another gel print. And then on the back, I did some, just some line work, just something silly. I did these a long time ago, but I thought, I finally thought I should use them. So those go in there. This is a tag. This is again, a, a piece of a scrapbook paper I found somewhere in black and white. And I just colored it in with pencil. Go lucky is a state of mind. And there's another gel print. This button I glued down with the ribbon. So that's kind of fun. And here we go. We got some purple action going over here. This is some tissue that I glued down and, and ruched onto um, this tag. I believe Sharon sent this to me. I'm not 100% sure, um, but let me know in the comments. If you sent that to me, I really love that. I didn't alter anything here. All I did, there was the backside was blank, and so I just added the tissue and the ribbon. But I thought that was really cool. This is one of uh, my friend Julie Torrance's uh, watercolor flowers that she sent me. This is an original. Um, here's a little tiny tag I made a while ago. And this little um, piece of vellum here I stamped on. So I thought it was cool. That's another one. There's another one of Julie's flowers. Let's keep going, Mr. Gentleman. Some tags here. This was fun. This was from, um, I think, this was a secret swap. And I forgot who it was from. Let me see. Uh... I think this was from Trish, from Trish, Trish Coogan, look at that. So these are tags that I made, um, with some embossing, and um, I painted the tags on the gel plate. So basically took the, the tags and put them on the gel plate. These are gel prints on the back, cool circle designs, almost to the end, another Polaroid. This has a lot of pencil work on there. And this one is Friends. Ah, 
This is another good quote from Lana Del Rey. When you're an introvert like me and you've been lonely for a while and then you find someone who understands you, you become really attached to them. It's a real release, that is for sure. More tag fun. This one has stencil butter. And then an embossed bee. And this is one of my favorites I made. This was a brayer off onto some thick paper. I don't know why, but anyway, I enhanced it with some more paint and pencil. And then um, and there's an image of one of my snowflake stamps in the background, if you could see that there. And then this design is stencil butter. That was from um, PM Artist Studio when, they, when you get an order, again, sometimes they send you little um, small stencils that are great for like ATCs and tags. And this was one of them. And then this is one of my um, grungy gel prints I glued on the back. Very cool. Some more tags. This is also on watercolor paper. And this has, um, this is tissue that's been printed in white ink with uh, using Froyle's Davies stamp. Um, and then this is some verbiage I made there. And this is another gel print I made. I actually went through it and added color with um, some pencils. There we go. This is a gel print back here that Becky sent me. I didn't do a very good job. I printed the daffodils on a um, ink jet printer over on some tissue paper, right? Um, glued it down, but it's just, it showed up the white edges and I'm not happy with it, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. This is just, uh, this is a brayer off actually that I had. And then this is one of my gel prints that is there and we've come to the end and I've shown you these so I hope you enjoyed it again this is my project for the Makers Creative Collab 2024 hashtag over the rainbow and the Makers Collage prompt for 2024 hope you liked it and I hope to um, finish a second one that will be for sale but I will let you know when that happens so thank you so much don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe